we use force to change the state of motion of different objects in order to perform our day to day activity. For example, we push or pull the door to open or close it. We exert force to move the book from the bookshelf. We exert force in order to cycle. We also exert force to hit the tennis ball. Now notice that in all these cases, that is when we were pushing or pulling the door or when we were hitting the tennis ball, we were actually coming in physical contact with the object on which we were exerting the force. Is it possible to open or close a door without actually physically touching it? Or is it possible to move a book from the bookshelf without physically touching it? Well, no. So, such forces in which physical contact is a must are known as contact forces. Can you give me another example of contact force? Well, we've studied that all surfaces exert a force on all objects placed on them. And this force is known as the frictional force. Now frictional force is exerted only when an object is placed on a surface. And so frictional force is a contact force. Now you would be surprised to know that not all forces are contact forces. That is, there are forces in which physical contact is not a must. Let me show you a few examples. Now observe this video. We notice that when we bring the magnet near metallic objects like the battery, nails and the safety pins, the magnet attracts the objects towards itself. Now from Newton's first law of motion, we know that an object at rest would continue to be at rest unless an unbalanced force acts upon it. So in order to attract the metallic objects, the magnet must have exerted some force onto the object. This force exerted by the magnet is known as magnetic force. But notice that the magnet did not have to come in contact with the metallic objects to exert this force. And hence, such forces are known as non-contact forces. Have you ever tried rubbing a comb against your hair and bringing it near some paper clips? You would observe that the paper clips get attracted to the comb. This is because of a force known as electrostatic force. Since the comb was not in contact with the paper clips, electrostatic force applied by the comb is a non-contact force. If we throw an object upwards, it eventually comes down. What pulls it down? The earth pulls it down. The earth exerts a force in the downward direction on all objects and this force is known as the gravitational force. So gravitational force is also a non-contact force. So contact forces are those forces in which the object exerting the force needs to be in physical contact of the object on which the force is being exerted. And non-contact forces are those forces in which physical contact is not required. 